Welcome back, Neoformers. Brent Cook here. And obviously today we're playing Neoform and Pioneer. But before we get into the deck tech today, I would like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, Eminence Gaming. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own Commander events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player Swiss based games, event management has never been so simple, and it's on the web, which means no downloads required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. Make sure to go check out Command Tower. So today, as I mentioned, Pioneer Neoform, this deck has been picking up all over. A bunch of creators have started working on it and you love to see that when a community rallies together around a deck. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in a moment, but before we do, let's break down how Pioneer Neoform even works. Like what does this deck do? So the idea is that you wanna fill up your graveyard. So we have Otherworldly Gaze. That is a card that we're playing here today. Uh, one blue instant, you surveil three. And then we have seven copies of a two mana surveil five between Contingency Plan and Tigum Scheming. Okay, so we fill up our graveyard. From there, we want to play a Delph creature on turn three. So Tassiger, the Golden Fang, or Hooting Mandrills. Those are our options. And then also on turn three, we want to cast the namesake of the deck, Neoform. From there, we can put a Troxa Grand Unifier onto the battlefield. And whoa, this card has a lot of text on it. So it's a seven mana creature, white, blue, green, black, uh, Death Touch, Lifelink, Vigilance, and what's the last one? flying there we go uh for a seven seven legendary phyrexian angel when it enters the battlefield you look at the top 10 put a card of each type from those 10 into your hand the rest go on the bottom in a random order and then we have tyrannix rex the dinosaur seven mana eight eight death touch i'm sorry not death touch that was the previous card eight eight uh can't be countered trample ward four haste toxic four uh this card is just bonkers and honestly in the previous video, which you can find in the card above, by the way, 9,000 views. Holy moly. Thank you to everyone that watched that. Um, I think Tyrannix Rex was actually the better creature. So, yeah, uh, Tyrannix Rex better on turn three. It's tough for people to kill. It just overperformed. My my personal opinion, I thought it was terrific. Um, but you put these creatures into play, and then you sort of coast to victory. I think Atrox is better versus red decks and decks that can't answer it. Uh, but Tyrannix deck Rex is better versus decks with interaction. Uh, it also races because it ends up being a 9-9 with Neoform, and that's really impressive. So when we look at that last league, actually, hold on. Before we get into that, uh, let's talk about how other creators are playing the deck. I, I did say we would come back to that, right? So other people are playing different card choices, and that's great, but they're moving in a direction that I'm personally not interested in, and it could just be a difference in play style that's entirely possible. But people are cutting otherworldly gaze for something like Consider. And then the seven uh, two mana surveil five cards that we're playing, they're cutting those for Founding the Third Path or main deck copies of Collector Brutality, main deck copies of Fatal Push, that sort of stuff. And that's completely fine. You want to play a more interactive deck. But I think there's two issues here. One, you're worse at finding Neoform. Consider digs two cards deep, otherworldly gaze digs three. Yes, it doesn't replace itself, but all we're really looking to do is execute our game plan. I'm not looking to play a value game. I am looking to put a giant thing onto the battlefield that just wins on its own. And that's what those two uh, enormous, extremely powerful creatures do. They win on their own. And I don't think playing the value game with something like Consider is honestly better. Same thing with finding the third path. I just want to find Neoform. And these cards dig the deepest to do that. And they allow you to be the fastest possible. So you're more likely to have a turn three with a list like this. I don't think you necessarily need main deck Fatal Push. I know that we lost in that last video to Mono White. I played another league after that against you know various decks. But I did also face Mono White in that league. And Path of Peril was not good enough. Okay, so being four mana against the Thalia was just way too slow. They have three mana value creatures as well. It was just really awkward. So one thing I'm stealing from the other creators that are working on this deck right now is Collector Brutality. I actually think that choice is brilliant. So it's great against Mono White. It's good against Red Green. It protects your creatures while filling up the graveyard. Collector Brutality has just been so, so good in this deck. And if you're not familiar, it's one in a black for a sorcery. And it has Escalate, discard a card. And it has up to three modes. So you can look at your opponent's hand, discard a instant or sorcery. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. Or you can drain two life from the opponent. Um, but those are what it offers. So I've been playing 
Oh, well, actually, that's not true. I haven't actually played Collector Brutality yet. The last league had the Path of Perils in there. But I'm really interested today to play the four copies of Collector Brutality in the deck. Uh, other than that, that's really all that's changed since that last video. And if you haven't watched that, definitely go do so. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that. But that's my deck talk for today. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. Um, but for now, I'm going to hop on in and play some Magic the Gathering. I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to round number one. We're on the draw here. We have a Neoform and another worldly gaze. All we need is a Delve creature. Sign me up. The opponent has taken a mulligan to five. Unfortunate for them. Darslook Shores and they're passing. Okay. There's our Delve creature. So we're off to a wonderful start here. I'm going to play this Watery Grave past the turn. I could have just played the Mana Confluence, but I don't want to give away what we're playing. I guess Mana Confluence would actually hide a little bit more. I think we're going to be fine. Are we playing the Mirror Match? Okay. This could be the Mirror. Botsy's Botanical Scent. It's definitely the Mirror Match. Wow. Holy moly. I can't believe this. Two mana. Commune with the Gods. I'm going to allow this. So they're on the Soul Flayer build. It's something you're allowed to do. I don't like it as much, but whatever works for them. So this digs five for a creature or enchantment card. This is one of those things that I was talking about where people are trying different things, but they're really just focused on not playing Surveil 5. But that, that doesn't find Neoform. Uh, I don't know. You're allowed to play whatever you want, but uh, I personally think that the Surveil cards just end up being better. We're definitely going to mill the evolution, the scheming. And if we mill the Neoform, it's actually perfect here because it gives us four cards in Graveyard. And then we can play the, ooh, double stub. Hmm. Okay, change of plan. Wait. I was supposed to play the Mana Confluence there. I even thought that. I was like, okay, double stub, play this. And then I looked over and looked at Blooming Martian. I was like, oh, I should play this now so that way I don't, if I draw another one. Uh, that comes into play on tap next turn. Terrible thought process. If I lose because I didn't play the Mana Confluence here, that's my own fault. Uh, that is just a misplay out of the gate from me. I am not playing well at the moment. Need to tighten up the ship here. And they have their own copy of Mana Confluence. And they're going to pass the turn. Or at least they appear to be switching phases. All right, on their end step, we're going to flash back the Otherworldly Gaze. And I'm not going to go all in. I think that's a, a mistake. And I think I want to keep the Atawara. Because if they do manage to get by, I want the answer in hand already. And we're just going to delve these. If I would have milled the second Neoform, I could have double Stubborn Denial backup. But I wanted to, if they happen to resolve the Thought Seize, I have another Neoform on top. So that was my thought process. Grizzly Salvage, sure. Once again, this is creature or land. They just mill the Neoform. They pick up a striped Riverwinder. They cycle the Riverwinder. Untapped land four. So if they have creature, Neoform, Stubborn Denial, that would be a terrific three cards. They're going to flashback Otherworldly Gaze, okay. And here comes the Soul Flare. Hexproof Lifelink, Trample Vigilance. Death Touch. So, yeah, a little bit annoying. We have the Ottawara already to bounce this. While they're tapped out, let's resolve Neoform. Get rid of the Tassiger. Let's grab a Troxa. Trigger a Troxa. We can always answer the Soul Flayer with the Ottawara later. Okay, so... How do we want to do this? They have two cards in hand. I like Thoughtseize, Darkslick Shores. Thoughtseize is our sorcery, so I guess we take Stubborn Denial here for our instant. 
And that's all of the types. There's no creature in here. We don't play enchantments. So it's a pick up three. That's fine. Play the Dark Slick. We have seven in hand and we'll pass. A flashback of the worldly gaze. Sure. So they're going to go to combat like they should. Oh, this has hexproof. Ottawara actually doesn't answer it. My bad. Um that's on me. I guess I'm supposed to just take the trade then? Yeah. Okay. A little unfortunate we didn't pick up another Delve creature off that. And now they have Thought Seize. They can pay for a Stubborn Denial here, so we have to let this go. They take my Neoform. Okay. Draw for turn. Watery Grave. Let's Thought Seize them. Take the Soul Flare. Play a Watery Grave. We'll pass the turn. I'm not going to spend Triple Stubborn Denial to counter a Grizzly Salvage, by the way. So... All right, we have five lands in play. There's land number six. So next turn we can hard cast Atroxa using white from the mana confluence. They flash back another worldly gaze. They placed one card on top of their deck. Okay, so they have one unknown in hand at the moment. Draw, Passager. That's actually pretty good here. Um... Okay, I think we're actually just going to play Tassiger. I think we leave a Neoform in the graveyard. Okay, Tassiger. They should cast the Grizzly Salvage here. Because if they don't, I can Stubborn Denial it. They put Mana Confluence to hand. Okay. I think I'm actually going to play the Ottawara. Because my plan is to play the Atroxa. And if I draw into a land, I have Stubborn Denial back up. And they concede. They see the writing on the wall. All right, so we picked up game number one. Who? Okay. So, interesting matchup. I think that Fatal Push doesn't have a lot of value. Leyline is Sanctity. So, both sides have Thought Seize and Collector Brutality. Leyline is going to be huge. It's interesting. Brutality, I don't think, is super good in the matchup. I think that's actually a card we're allowed to board out here. Because, yes, it hits Neoform, but it doesn't interact with the creatures pretty much at all. So we can get rid of that. Uh, Mystical Dispute is also interesting because it counters the creatures. I mean, it's costly, but it does work. All right, we're at 62 at the moment. I think I want Mystical Disputes over Stubs. I could be wrong here, though. I think they're going to try to play around Stubborn Denial anyway, so boarding it out might be kind of free. And then we have to find two cuts. Part of me wants to try boarding down on the mill effects. I'm going to try this. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to keep this. They've also taken a mulligan. We're going to six cards. This is a much better hand. We will definitely keep this. And I think we're getting rid of the breeding pool. All right, put Leyline into play. Your discard spells ha are no good here. Draw. Second Thought Seize, not bad. Hiya. We will take the Soul Flare. They play a Botanical Sanctum. Dark Slick Shores. We'll play that. Cast Thought Seize. They're likely to Grizzly Salvage in response. Let's find out. They do. They choose Hooting Mandrills. Okay. Their draw with Stubborn Denial. I mean, that's a good one. We'll take the Tassiger. Uh, Hooting Mandrills just isn't quite as good. We'll pass. So they will have, oh no, I crossed off the wrong creature. So they'll be able to have Stubborn Denial back up here. Yep. Okay, they have a 4-4. Not what we wanted to see here. We're going to go to 14. And let's play Tigum Scheming. That resolves. Tassiger's pretty darn good. The problem is we don't have green green for this evolution in the 5, so we have to mill that. Mill the Thoughtseize. We don't need this Tyrannix. So I can keep the Ottawara and then use that to my advantage to bounce the Hooting Mandrills. I think we put these two on top and then we'll pass. They attack for four, we'll go to 10. All right, so they have Stubborn Denial and one other card. Let's play Tassiger. So with the more lands they have, the more awkward this Mystical Dispute gets. Okay. 
So I can play the Ottawara here, and then I can start using Tassiger, which I think is the move. I was originally planning on bouncing the Mandrills, but they have enough to just recast it very easily. Okay, they're passing with three in hand. We will activate Tassiger. And this is why early on in the game I took the Tassiger instead of the Hooting Mandrills. Looks like they're going to put Evolution back in hand. Okay. Upkeep, we will flash back on the Worldly Gaze. Okay, this isn't bad. And then we'll keep the Mana Confluence. No intention here of um, trying to attack or anything else. We can't activate the Tassiger again. We don't have the mana. They're also flooding pretty hard. We're going to play the Hooting Mandrills. And let's get in there. If they want to trade monkeys, I'm fine with that. They're up to four cards and they're just not doing anything. I can't but wonder how many of those are actually just discard spells and the ley line is doing work. Attack with the Mandrills. We'll leave the Tassiger back. Pass the turn. They have five in hand here. We'll activate the Tassiger once again. Our banana loving friend. And we did not head a spell to return. Brutal. Uh, on the end step, I'll go to nine. I'll otherworldly gaze. Don't want any of these. We'll mill all of them. Upkeep. Let's flash back the otherworldly gaze. Neoform. I guess we'll keep that. All right, we're going to swing with both this time. We can win the race, so I think it's worthwhile. All right, so now because they didn't block this turn, next turn we have lethal on board unless they play another blocker. We have won match number one in the mirror match. How crazy is that? All right, four more rounds of really fun and entertaining magic left to go. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, time for match number two. We're on the draw. I'll keep this. We're likely looking at a turn four with this hand, unless I draw into a creature in the first or second draw. Um, even, and I can't find that creature off of Otherworldly Gaze, because if I do, I can't mill enough cards to then play the creature on turn two. So it's a little bit of a debacle, but I think we'll be fine. Turn one, Basic Island. Pick a draw. There's our monkey. Okay, so maybe we can have a turn three. Let's see what kind of islands our opponent is playing. Blue, white islands. Okay. Yikes. All right, on their end step, we will otherworldly gaze. Thought seize is certainly welcome. I'm going to mill the besage you. Keep this thought seize. Okay, we're drawing the thought seize. I'm going to play the dark slick and pass. Opponent cycles irrigated farmland. They're definitely on blue-white control. Traditionally, not a very good matchup for us. Deserted Beach. Let's flash back this otherworldly gaze. I love this. Okay. Those were all very good cards for us to see. Okay. Wonderful. Let's start off with the Thought Seize. Take the Sensor. And then we will cast Collector Brutality. Only choosing the instant or sorcery mode because we're just going to take the absorb anyway. So if they want to counter it, that's fine too. And they do absorb. Okay. We're going to pass the turn. What I don't want to happen here is field of ruin. That would actually be kind of bad for me. They play the field. Ooh. They do choose to use it. That's unfortunate. We don't have any basics. So they just strip mine me. Draw for turn. It's a thought seize. That was a good one. Okay. Let's play it. Clear those. So they have a bunch of lands in hand. We're going to play the monkey here. All I want is monkey business. Pass the turn. They play the castle. Draw. It's Neoform. Okay, that's obviously a good one. It allows us to play around sensor here. Play the Neoform. You didn't draw a counter spell. Come on. Okay. So... They're at 23. I think it's Atroxa. Or I'm sorry, I think it's the Rocks. I know that Atroxa draws cards and everything, but this thing tramples. It's tough for them to actually answer. 
Now they're going to make a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. They play a castle. I mean, castle was a fine draw for them here. We draw Troxa. Okay. Get in there with the rocks. Let's play scheming. Certainly milling this. And the brutality. I think we leave everything else. Pass the turn. So they get to scry two here. Two on the bottom. That's what we wanted to see. Okay. Yeah, the dinosaur gets there. Boom. Okay. We're interested in mystical dispute, so we'll bring those in. Abrupt Decay hits uh, Rest in Peace, so we're definitely interested in that. Okay. So what do we not want here? I think you can actually get away with boarding out other really gays, which seems a little bit odd. But the thing about this matchup is... Uh, hmm. The milling isn't as powerful. So I guess what I'm wondering is, would you rather have more expensive mills or the one that's fits your curve better? We're also interested in brutalities too. So what we could do, I guess, is board out a bunch of the mill effects and just try to be a more disruptive deck that isn't as fast. That's probably the answer. What if we board out all the two mana mill spells and just accept that we're a little bit slower and keep in triple otherworldly gaze? Actually, I'm going to board out one evolution. I think that card's kind of tough to cast in this matchup. So let's do this. Let's go. Uh, if I find a black source, this hand's very good. Adawara really wishing that it tap for two colors right now. Ding. Thoughtseize. Narset. Supreme Verdict. The Sanitarium. We'll take the Narset for now. They play the Sanitarium. That's fine. Wow, we're just hitting straight runners. Okay, so we'll play the Ottawara and Thoughtseize. Take the Verdict. Pass the turn. When they go to Cycle Sensor, we'll cast Otherworldly Gaze. Cast it. I don't think we need any of these, so we're going to mill all of them. So we know that they have one copy of Sensor in hand. All of the Storm Giants. Sure. Draw for turn. Evolution. I'm going to play out one copy of Tassiger here, so like sort of bait to get them to tap out. Passing the turn after that. They cycle farmland. That's fine. They play the deserted beach. So they have sensor and three unknowns in hand. Let's flash back the other worldly gaze. I'm at 13 now. Stub. I think we're going to keep the stubborn denial. Attack with Tassiger. You don't need to slam Neoform if your opponent's just going to represent a bunch of counter magic. And if I put Neoform on the stack, I'm sacrificing the Tassiger, so the Stubborn Denial will no longer have Ferocious. The Cycle Sensor. You got it. So we no longer know anything in their hand. They were thinking there about using the Sanitarium and decided against it. Glacial Fortress. Ooh, that was a good one. Let's cast it pre-combat. See what they're working with here. Resolves, absorb, sensor, two lands. Okay. Swing. They are now at 12. Okay. I have to imagine they cycle the sensor here. They do. They're getting pretty close to Hall of the Storm Giants being active. They play Hallowed Fountain. I might have crossed off the wrong land there. We know that they have at least one land in hand. Mystical Dispute. Well, it would only counter if they use Absorb. I guess I get in the attack first. They're now at 8. Do I dare risk going for the Neoform? I mean, I do have another Tassiger. Alright, please only be Absorb. It is. Okay, so now we can Mystical Dispute. Did you draw another? Okay, they would have had to draw them back-to-back -back counter spells. We'll grab a Troxa. The Grand Unifier. So we want an untap land. So we'll take this Breeding Pool. Thought Seize. Stubborn Denial. Hooting Mandrills. Okay. And fun fact, this is an 8-8 eight, eight, and they're at 8. And we have Stubborn Denial backing up our Atroxa here. Looks like they're going to activate the land? Really? Okay. We'll discard the evolution, I guess. Actually, no, because if they somehow do get by, the evolution kills them. So I think it's actually right to discard the dinosaur here. All right. 
Tyrannix Rex down. They just heard rest in peace a little late on that one. They're now at two, so this could be Supreme Verdict. And it is. Okay, so uh, that happens, but we still have Tassiger into Evolution for the win. All right, so let's cast our Tassiger. Blue, green, green. And having two copies of the dinosaur is actually super relevant here. All right, Tyrannix Rex for the win. Haste, baby. There we go. And we are 2-0 beating a really bad matchup. This deck is so sweet. Round number three coming up. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. The perfect hand doesn't... what? No, we have the perfect hand. We're in match number three. Our opponents reveal the Gigantha and we've opened up an absolute insane start. So we have turn one otherworldly gaze into turn two hooting mandrels into neoform or you can just do it all in one turn where you otherworldly gaze on turn one, turn two, and then turn three do both things. It's really going to depend on the matchup here, so we'll lead on Dark Slick Shores and just pass. What is the Gigantha player playing today? Temple Garden. Okay. They're on Bogles. Okay, so we should be free here to play the Monkey N2 if we so choose. I kind of like this Thought Seize, though, so I'll keep that. Draw for turn. Play the Sanctum. Actually, no, I, I'm a mana short for next turn. Keeping the Thoughtseize bit me in the butt. Okay, so what's the play here? Vigilance, 2-0 and Trample. I think it's the Audacity. I messed up here. I should have just milled everything. That's going to cost me, because now I'm a turn slower the rest of this game. They play the SRAM. They swing for one. Draw for turn. Another Thoughtseize, okay. So we'll cast that. Take these Sentinels. No, let's take these Cartouche, I guess. Play Mana Confluence. Tweeting Mandrills. Remove the other. I think the life point might end up mattering, so I'm going to choose to not tap the Mana Confluence here. Opponent is at 16. Okay, so Sentinel's Eyes on the Glade Cover Scout. Griff Spoon. Okay. So it's now a three power flyer. We're going to take three down to 12. I don't think the dinosaur is very good in this matchup. Blue, green, Neoform, sacrificing the monkey. Get a Troxa. So in theory, you could have tried to swing there. But I think if your opponent, maybe I'm supposed to swing. Maybe they don't block. And they're just going to scoop to a Troxa. Wow. Okay, so I guess so. I mean, I'll take it. We want Abrupt Decay here for their enchantments, even though their creatures um, might not be able to hit that. I think we want the Collector Brutality. Well, correct, it doesn't hit enchantments, so maybe you do just board that out. I didn't think about this not hitting enchantments. It does hit the SRAM, but I don't know how much that actually matters. We have to board out one. I think you could probably board out one evolution. It is a little bit slow in the matchup. I could also try boarding out the Rexes, because I don't think the Rex is good here. Maybe it is. All right, I'm going to board out one dinosaur. How's that? Let's try this. I mean, this hand is also very good. We need a mill effect, but this is certainly a keep. Turn one, Temple Garden. Blade Cover Scout, you got it. Draw. Land three. I mean, that's not bad, but we really need to hit a mill effect on our turn two. Like, that's by far what we want here. The Sage you. Into Audacity, okay. Cartouche. I think we just need to cash this in while we can. They swing for three. Ouch. Another creature. Play the Breeding Pool Pass. Our best draw next turn would be Otherworldly Gaze. They're just going to swing three here, which is interesting. I wonder what the other three in their hand is. The Might, okay. 
a Springer. That's fine. We can win with the dinosaur. So if there is a game three, maybe I'm interested in both dinosaurs. Another land, we just have to pass here. Our hand isn't capable of doing anything. I needed some better draws. We're at 14 going down to nine right now. Okay, going down to 10. The clock's running out. They have two cards. This is a matchup where, okay, rest in peace here is brutal. Uh, that the, what's it called? Path of Peril would have been better than the Collector Brutalities. I'm going to pick this one up and go to game three. Okay, that was rough. We already boarded correctly with the Abrupt Decays. For the matchup, we just, our draws didn't pan out. And sometimes that happens. I'm not going to cry over it. Game three. We did lose our first game. I was secretly hoping for a perfect league. 5 0 10 0. That did not happen. Tan is incredibly good. Keep. We have an answer to rest in peace. We can thought seize them. Like, there's. This hand's bonkers. Bonkers. Okay. So let's lead on the Darslick Shores into thought seize. They do have rest in peace. They have the Glade Cover Scout. Part of me wants to just take the rest in peace. Yeah, I'm going to take the scout because I'm hoping that I can stubborn denial the rest in peace. Planes, and then they're passing. Scheming, we're going to sit on that for a turn. Mana Confluence. The Generous Visitor. Okay. Into Sentinel's Eyes, sure. Draw for turn. Mana Confluence. I'm going to sit on this Besage you. And now we're going to play the Scheming immediately into Tassiger. Mill a bunch of this stuff. What does this uh, do again? Plus X plus X until end of turn and indestructible. Okay, so I was just making sure that it didn't fight because that could be bad for us. Okay, so five cards in graveyard now. We'll tap this and I'll take one. Play the Tassiger. Pass the turn. So we don't even have a graveyard if they choose to play the rest in peace. They instead play Cartouche of Solidarity. They have a 5-5 five, five First Strike Vigilance and Audacity. So they have a rather large creature here. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample Vigilance First Strike. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking good for me right now. Okay, so let's Neoform. I think we want the Atroxa. I didn't hit an untapped land. Wow. Um, That's not good for me. I guess we take the Abrupt Decay. So that's our instant. Our sorcery can be Neoform. Creature will be Tassiger. Okay. We have to pass. Land three. They play a Sentinel's Eyes. So now this is a 9-7. I was going to say, they, if they attack with the creature, they're messing up here. So we know that they have the Tyvar stand to give their creature plus one, plus one. I need to think about how we want to do this. So they're giving it plus zero. So they're only giving it hexproof and indestructible. So if I kill the audacity, this thing goes down to a seven seven. So uh, they're going to get to draw a card when this goes to the graveyard. And then they conceded. So we're three and oh. Yes. All right. Let's get these last two matches. I believe in us. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Who needs friends when you have opening hands like this? We are drawing very, very, very well today. Keep, 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 keep. Can't say no to these. We do need a green source for the Neoform, but this hand is just so darn good. Five. Okay, so we're facing a deck with discard in it, so we could have our key components here uh, taken away from us. But Neoform number two is obviously a good draw. Swamp into Misery Shadow. Okay. Other really Gaze. And there's our Black Source. I'm sorry, our Green Source. Keep the Mana Confluence. Play the Atawara. And let's play a Tigum Scheming. Just uh, milling a bunch of lands here. Do I want the land? I think I might. I'm going to keep it. No! Ah, oh, brutal. Ah. Oh, damn. 
punished. Should have milled the land, dummy. Okay. We're going to play this out. I know that I could have cast the other worldly gaze in my upkeep, but I still think we want this land. I'm going to cast other worldly gaze on their end step now. Field of Ruin, that's brutal. Are you mono black? I mean, keeping the breeding pool looks good after seeing the Field of Ruin. No blocks, I'll go to 14. And we will otherworldly gaze, looking for that delve creature. Okay, mill. Once again, I'm not going to cast this in the upkeep, especially when they've uh, left up Field of Ruin. Um, I mean, they have the shades that can pump. I don't think we're supposed to play this. Pass the turn. They use the castle. Sure. No blocks. They pump a shade. And they're doing it correctly. They're bouncing or they're pumping each shade. So I could Ottawara one of them here. I'm not going to. I'm going to choose to play towards um Neoforming. So I go to six. On their end step. Otherworldly gaze. So I found another Brutality. I can guarantee kill both of their Shades. Or I can Dig. I think we're supposed to kill both the Shades here. We'll do minus two, minus two, and discard a card from their hand. Target this. Discard the Atawara. They have a Liliana. We can't discard that. Alright, so I'm going to go to five here. And we will kill the other shade. Graveyard Trespasser. Okay. Draw. I think they have me here. Yeah, there's no Delve creature there either. Okay, rather than show them the Dinosaur or Troxa, I'm going to concede and we can go to game two. Brutal. Okay, so we definitely want the Ley Lines. I don't know how much I actually like Thoughtseize in this matchup. So we can probably get rid of that. I think I'm okay boarding out Brutality for a similar reason. You could also maybe take out the Denials. I'm not as yeah, confident on that decision. So we have 55 cards. We can board in some stuff to work with here. Abrupt Decay does kill Liliana. It could also stop something like Grafdigger's Cage. So I'm interested in those. And then you could pick to leave in two Stubs or two Brutalities. I think I like Collector Brutality a little bit more. Hit Submit. Game 2, we're on the play. Yeah, keep. We just need to find a Neoform effect. Leyline comes in. And our turn one's going to be simple. We're just going to play this Water Grave and pass the turn. Swamp pass, sure thing. Wow, what a rip. What a rip. Off the top rope Neoform. We, need, we have to mill at least um, four of these if we want to win next turn. So what we mill, who knows? Uh, so it's definitely contingency plan. I think we're allowed to mill the dinosaur and we'll keep a second Neoform. My goal here is I think with the second Neoform on top, we can afford to get a Troxa with the first one. And then with the second Neoform, maybe we get the dinosaur. Misery Shadow, sure thing. I'm going to play Besaju. I don't think they have anything we need to blow up and I'd rather save on the life. All right, Chassiger. Okay. Let's get the Atroxa. Triggers. Creature. Sorcery. Actually, with the sorcery, I could get the Collector Brutality. Hmm. No, I don't think I want the Brutality because it's showing it face up. They're just going to leave open a mana. We'll grab a Breeding Pool because it's a land that comes into play untapped. So we have land, sorcery, creature. There's no instant in here, so I believe that's all we can take. Pass the turn, and we are set up to Neoform again. We have one game number two. I'm going to resubmit. Triple Neoform, huh? Well, I don't think we're allowed to keep this one. This one's risky. I think I'm actually going to keep it and just kind of pray to draw well. Having a Leyline in this matchup, I think, helps quite a bit. They've kept six. Okay. I mean, this could bite me in the butt. Let's see how it goes. Leyline of the Void. Okay. Well, uh, yikes. So now we have to find one of our two Besejus. And they have a Field of Ruin when I'm stuck on one land. This is not good. I've never seen more Field of Ruins in my life. Okay. Play Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. Looks like they're passing. 
Other really gaze again. There's the Beseju. We don't have a green source currently. We'll just pass. They found land three. Graveyard Trespasser. Okay, green source for this abrupt decay, please. Nope. Play the watery grave. We'll pass. Land four. Alright, I don't think we're winning this one. Unfortunate. Yeah. We will kill this. Discard scheming, I guess. Pass. We're just not going to be able to ratio dread. All right, I'm going to call it. Unfortunately, we have lost. We are three and one. One match left to go. The best legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. The fifth and final round. Let's finish this. Finish with a 4-1 record. I'd be happy with running back another 4-1. Making my record with this deck, uh, what is, would that be, 12-3? and three? I mean, that's still pretty good. We have a pretty solid opening hand here once again. I mean, it's tough when to talk about like, oh, uh, like you just got lucky with all of your sevens this league or whatever. The deck is built to consistently turn three Neoform. I mean, it's just what this list does. So we're trying to do it once again. And uh, here, another black deck. So we'll be looking to dodge Leyline of the Void in the police board games. It's worth noting that Leyline of the Void is not super popular. If it was, we would change how this deck is constructed. We could play things like Assassin's Trophy in the sideboard instead of Abrupt Decay. We could also play more copies of Besaju. But as of right now, Leyline just isn't a card that sees that much play, so there's no point in warping your deck around it. Okay, so we will play Contingency Plan. And if anything, I think that this probably is a Grease Fang, if I had a guess. We're going to mill everything here. Okay, bunch of cards in the graveyard. I am so smart! Called it Grease Fang. Yeah, and they even found the Grease Fang off the Grizzly Salvage. So they're going to have a Chariot coming into play. There it is. Can we race them? I imagine so. Okay. Here comes the chariot. And then they can copy their cat token as well. Sure thing, we take four. We're going to play the Blooming Marsh here. We're going to play out Hooting Mandrills, which you might be wondering why does it matter which creature you play? Let's assume that next turn we don't get the back-to-back -back Neoform, okay? And I think that is a reasonable assumption. You'd rather have Neoform in play that blocks four power creatures, or I'm sorry, you'd rather have Tassiger in play that blocks four power creatures and doesn't die. Neoform! Grab the Atroxa. Triggers. Let's take the Mana Confluence. Actually, do we want Mana Confluence? I am interested in Collector Brutality. The Hoots. I do... Th Let's take an Atawara. And then we get an Instant, which would be Stubborn Denial. I've already played a land, and they're just going to concede to Atroxa. Hiya! One win away! All right, so in the post war games, that deck, Grease Fang, boards up to eight one-mana discard spells. So we definitely want Leyline of the Void. Uh, I think you can board out Stubborn Denial, and you want your own Thoughtseize to disrupt them. I don't think Collector Brutality is actually very good here, so we can board those out, and then we can board one card back in. I think Grease Fang is fine. Uh, you could also do Fatal Push, but Fatal Push requires Revolt. I think that evolution is actually kind of slow here. So let's board in all three decays and try this out. We could run into the problem of not finding Neoform, but in my experience, evolution just, it's too slow, at least in this matchup. It's better in slow matchups, but we haven't been facing those today. I guess we did face blue-white, but it's not good against slow blue decks like that. It's better against like mid-range decks, which is why we only run two copies. Unfortunately not. We will be taking a mulligan here. Am I, am I supposed to go to five or do I keep this functional six? I think I'm going to keep it and be mad at myself when I get hit by a discard spell. I mean, this hand plays magic. It's a good hand. So we would be asking our five card hand to be a turn three Neoform hand with Leyline. And I think that's asking a lot. Another Besaju, a little bit awkward. Razor Verge Thicket. So they have a Grizzly Salvage on the end step. We need to find a Delve creature. 
otherworldly gaze. So we'll play out the Besage you. Ouch. Play a scheming. We found the Delve creature. We need it to be Mandrills because of the legend rule with this Besage you. We'll keep the Hoots. Pass. Grizzly Salvage. You've got it. The Sage you Mana Confluence Concealed Courtyard. So they can force shuffle my deck, which is probably what they're going to do here. Thoughtseize, that hurts. Goodbye, Neoform. That is in fact the play. They play a pathway. Rafine's informant. Okay. Alright, so no vehicle to the graveyard off the informant. You do like to see that. Take a draw. We're gonna play the Hooting Mandrills. Pass the turn. We know that they have Besaju in hand. I mean, I don't think playing out my Besaju does a, a whole lot of good. So, I'm not going to do that. They've played theirs. Interesting. Liliana of the Veil. Okay. Was not expecting that. Yeah, creature down. It's going to be tough to beat the Liliana. Other really gaze. I mean, that's everything we need, but the Liliana is going to be an issue. I'm actually going to play out the Mandrills, which might seem a little bit weird, but there's a reason why. So they're unlikely to have another Liliana, right? So now I can attack Liliana next turn and get it off the board and then Neoform into Atroxa. Because if I don't, I have to get the Dinosaur and attack Liliana next turn. And I don't know if the Dinosaur necessarily wins this. We'll discard a scheming. They discarded chariot. So do you have the Grease Fang here? They do. Yeah, I mean, they had a highly disruptive start. All right, I've lost this one. We're going to go to game three. Bummer. I'm going to board out two Thoughtsies for two evolution. It makes the hands where you don't keep Leyline a little bit better, and I don't think that discard is super good in the matchup, but obviously hitting a Grease Fang or whatever is fine. Game three on the play. Wow. Uh, I can't mulligan this. Like, this hand is too good. Who needs Leyline, right? Concealed Courtyard. All right, so we will play another Worldly Gaze. Mill the Thoughtseize. Mill the Watery Grave. Mill the Sanctum. So by milling everything, I'm able to play Mandrills on two, which gives me an, a turn three Neoform. So two one mana discard spells does get me here, but then any third uh, green source or second green source, I should say, off the top allows for evolution. This not being thought sees is like very, very relevant here. All right, so now they have to follow up with another discard spell next turn. Draw. Terrible draw. Okay. Play the mandrills. Oh, I forgot about the card going to the graveyard. It actually could have kept Sanctum on top. That's a misplay. All right, pass the turn. Blooming Marsh. And they did have the second discard spell, so I'm getting punished here for not keeping that land on top. I mean, it's my own fault. I didn't think about the discard spell adding to the graveyard. So we could upkeep other really gaze. I'm going to take the chance at drawing a green source naturally here. No such luck. Swing. We have to pass. Two mana for a Seder Wayfinder. Okay. Citrus Supplier, Grizzly Salvage. They take the Thicket. Okay. Otherworldly Gaze. Mill the Blooming Marsh. And then I think we put both of these on top. Let's attack with the Mandrills. Let's get that damage in. We'll put them to 12. I don't think they're going to block here. Post Combat Neoform. Grab the Atroxa. 88. Triggers. Dark Slick Shores, Tassiger, Otherworldly Gaze, Scheming. That's everything we can select. Pass. All right, they play a path. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Yeah, I mean, that was a good one. They didn't have it last turn, but here they get to get at my Atroxa. You might be saying, oh, well, like, you could have gotten the Dinosaur. The Dinosaur loses to Lily here as well. We do have the Abrupt Decay for the Liliana, but we can also Neoform again. Definitely milling the Ley Line. 
Keep the Tassiger on top. Let's keep the Besaju. Play the Besaju. Tassiger. Evolution. So the question is, do you get the dinosaur here and just attack them and say, hey, this thing will kill you? Um, and I think I do because I can back it up next turn with the Abrupt Decay. Attack them. Another Seder Wayfinder. They hit the Parhelion. All right, so there's no land five, though. So if they have land Grease Fang in their four cards here, they can put the Parhelion into play. And they concede, yes! We got another 4-1. This deck is so good. Even in the one match that we lost, it took our opponent playing Leyline of the Void. So, obviously super happy with this list, but let's say, hey, you want to make sure that you beat Leyline of the Void. That's not something I'm overly concerned with, but let's say you are. So, two things you could do. Don't play Abrupt Decay in the board, instead play Assassin's Trophy. All right, so there's pros and cons, right? Uh, Assassin's Trophy beats Leyline of the Void but it's much worse against a deck like Spirits. So you, there's trade-offs to every selection. That's kind of my point here. Um, or you could just play two more copies of a Sage in the board. And then that way you get mana consistency while also getting an answer to Leyline. It's up to you. I'm not gonna force any decisions on anyone, but those are two things that you could possibly do to make sure that you win that. But I consistently do very well with this deck. I love playing it, it's super fun. I'd recommend it to anyone. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below as always. But like, I don't think you need to be playing Consider or Founding the Third Path. I think the way that this deck is built is the most efficient way to Neoform. That's my personal opinion. But hey, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.